Who's ready for yet another rebranding? Yes, here we are again. WB Discovery is renaming HBO Max and merging things in a way they said they wouldn't do. Let's talk about that. HBO Max, no more. HBO, no more. Discovery Plus or whatever, no more. Instead, you're gonna have Max. That's it, it's just gonna be Max. It's gonna unite a bunch of services all under one roof for $16 a month. This is the new solution. Instead of fragmenting everything, they're gonna get rid of the HBO name, which I think is the dumbest decision you could possibly do, and it's all gonna be clumped, to clumped, blah, 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 clumped together under Max. There we go. Oh my God, if only I showed you all the outtakes I have with these videos. So yeah, Max. Um, it's a dumb name. If you think Legacy of TV, some of the best shows of all time, The Sopranos, Game of Thrones, The Wire, you think HBO. So why would you get rid of the HBO branding when it's synonymous with quality? Instead, lump it all into Max now, that's going to have varying degrees of quality in shows that aren't up to snuff. Why not just keep calling it HBO because of the recognition? I think this is honestly kind of getting ridiculous. Like, this service has been renamed like four times in the last five years. So, like, when does it stop? And what happens when people are confused? And what happens with those people that, like, you know, get HBO as part of their cable service? You know, those people that still exist, they're gonna go, um, what, what is Max? Why are you charging me for Max? Then they gotta call up their service. They gotta explain to them it's HBO. They gotta ask, wait, is that why my app isn't working? It's gonna be such a headache. Um, this is dumb. Now let's talk about the quality of content. What's gonna happen? Probably nothing. You're still gonna get the DC announced shows. They're just gonna be on this service, which uh, by then should be a little bit more known as a commodity, but still a dumb decision. So um, get ready to pay 16, possibly $18 a month by the end of the year for an amalgamation and a Frankensteinian style of content on a new streaming service that isn't gonna have much more to offer. Yay!